Hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We're still in this... I guess pretty beaten up underground underwater base on Manan. Okay, didn't loot this guy. He appears to have a Jedi Master robe, although he looks like a Sith. Hmm. I wonder how that works. We could try to repair this, um... This droid, but meh. The last time I did that, that droid, I spent a ton of repair parts on the droid, which got obliterated within two seconds. So let's just go through here. Okay, there's some assault droids. I think I'm okay with that. Let's go Knight Valor and follow that up with a Knight Speed. And then I get frozen. Wow. And where's the rest of my guys? Just sort of merrily doing nothing. You, for example, night speed yourself, yes. please. And then actually oh. do something. I did improve your flurry, it's didn't I? At its best. Okay, I mean, they froze me, but Bastila's doing something to them. There. Yeah, they only give 30 XP, they're obviously not very strong. And it's funny, even though I was frozen, <laughs> my, my frozen self was still turning Ready. towards the enemy. Uh, just funny. Okay, wow, they're really giving us a lot of grenades here. Standard map pack, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What? Since our buff has worn off, I'll do two heals so that everyone's fine again. I quick save a lot now. Um, I recently finished my German LP of um, Fallout 3, and that game has a tendency to crash a lot. And so I've gotten into the habit of using... Oh, very smart HK-47. Um, I've gotten into the habit of quicksaving quite a bit. And the Night Valor actually appears to have affected my entire party. Now you can Master Crit Strike those guys, right? And these are insane cell caps, but... Um, the reason I'm using the... Um, the Force Valor, in addition to the um, Force, the Night Speed, is uh, actually it's Night Valor, not Force Valor. Um, it gives immunity to poison, supposedly, and these guys poison with their normal attacks. Now, HK-47 is obviously immune against poison. Wouldn't make sense, really, if, if he wasn't. But uh, that way, both ba both Bastila and myself are also immune, which means I don't have to deal with the uh, antidotes all the time. Mm, sorry about that. I just had to drink something because I've been recording three or four episodes back-to-back. -back, and that means about two hours of just talking. I mean, obviously, little interruptions, but... Most of them fairly short. I mean, I try to keep commentary fairly consistent and not pause too much. Okay, we disabled your um, thingy, didn't we? Your shield, right? Okay, I'm so here. That hurt, I bet. You shall fall. I mean, I know you're here, but why don't you do something? And also, yep. I may just need an advanced med pack or something along those lines. Yes. You cannot win. Okay, so this is another one of those instances where the only thing that I can reasonably do is spam disable I'm droid. Because it seems like these guys hurt, are I bet. ridiculously resistant to that damage. Hurt, I bet. Okay, are you not planning to actually use your abilities? Cause you're just standing there. Hurt, I bet. Love it, love it. Okay, now... Bastila, what the... Disable droid, please. Ok, 
Okay, at least it does something now. Um, I don't know why she was standing there doing nothing. Droid efficiency at its best. He appears to be very resilient to being disabled. Maybe he just doesn't have the right animation. Because Termination required. He certainly doesn't do very much. That hurt, I bet. Okay, I'm out of force points now. That hurt, I bet. Combat mode active. <laughs> Ready. How about improved power blasting? I know it's got a decreased chance to hit, but if it actually hits, it yes. does more damage. And I seem to already be fairly Im unable to actually hit the guy. Yeah, because he doesn't do much damage at all, right? Termination required. There, take that. You cannot win. Why do you keep missing? Droid efficiency at its best. Combat mode active. I mean, seriously, what is this? The only way I have of seriously damaging this guy is by using best thus disabled droid for force power. And that's just ridiculous. Droid efficiency at its best. You shall fall. See, when I actually did those ten points of damage, they actually took a fairly reasonable portion of, of his health. I have to quick load it. There's no point in continuing that. Um, it actually did take a significant portion off, as I said. It's my last quick load. Um, means I have to go through this again, right? Okay, Night Valor actually affects my entire party. Interesting. Interesting because I thought that uh, HK-47 being a robot would probably be I'm unaffected here. by some sort of moral... <laughs> Try to navigate her around and just... Oh, her ring, I guess. Ready. Well, you might want to disable this her, with me. Never mind. Try not to disable that mine. Sure, or rather, don't try to disable it. So yeah, we've been through this fight before, but... What can you do? I found an iron grenade. I definitely want to use that for... Um, sort of sentry droid thing. I thought I quicksaved right before entering its room, but apparently it didn't. And there's some scientists note in there. I want to look at them. Sure. Um, I'm here. Bastard, are you full? Secure, please. Now everyone should yes. be full. At the very least, everyone who can be affected by cure, anyway. Uh, some sort of scientist's note. The problem is the window to read those things is ridiculously tiny. There, yeah, scientist's memo. In response to those Phyrex Phyrexian sharks outside, I managed to whip up a little something in one of the workrooms. This is a sonic emitter which should scare them off. The sound seems to work a lot better on the water, water than through the air, and if you fix it on the outside of an en enviro suit, just push the button every time they'll get near and you'll have no problems. So I was just wondering, when am I going to get that raise? Yeah, how about never? Suspect he's dead. Okay, is this where the droid is in? No, so it must be in here. I'll quick save again then, and before I even go in, I'll... How long does it take for me to regenerate my force power? Not very. I'll take a sip of my drink. Some sort of lethal toxic chemical, it's very brown. I don't think it's really meant to be drunk, but... It almost tastes like it's not poisonous. And let's go Night Valor, Night Speed. 
I'm here. Fine, then don't sure. night speed. Uh, why don't you go... Energy shield, open the door. And let's go, massacre crit strike. While all best Bastila will ever do is spam disable droid, because that seems to be the one thing that she can do that does damage. And you will start off by throwing... I know I got at least one iron grenade, so throw that, that, I guess. That hurt, I bet. Okay, that did 38, that that's bet. at least something. That hurt, I bet. I'm here. And Bastila that just hurt, I bet. doing that. The force fights with me! That hurt, I bet. Okay. It's sad, but this appears to be the only viable method for killing these. That hurt, I bet. That hurt, I bet. That hurt, I bet. Either because they have ridiculous armor, or they, for some reason, are ridiculously evasive. Don't quite know. But it's definitely annoying, whatever it is. That hurt, I bet. I think next chance I get, I should see Ready. if I can, uh, can, I do? If I can yes. improve the uh, destroy droid or disable droid ability. But we did get the kill, so that's at least something. And in here we have a dead soldier with an Arcanian energy seal, shield and an improved energy cell, which I think has an upgrade item for ranged weapons. In here we have environmental suits. I think I can just take them. There's a large locker, which I don't think I have enough security Master. to have those, right? Affirmative. Successful entry. Oh, apparently I do. Affirmative. Successful entry. Affirmative. Successful entry. Entry. Okay, what? and finally, let's talk to the whimpering locker. Is somebody out there? Fishy, 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 <laughs> come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Um. Okay, so I'm Dake Starcrawd, and I've been sent by the Republic to investigate what's happened here. Can he even comprehend sentences that long anymore? I doubt it. Investigate? You're just like the others. Father for the Selkath. Walk and fish next. Chomp, chomp, chomp. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody, I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Mm. Yeah, you want to come out of that room. You feel safe with us. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, where the culto is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. Um, okay, let's try the Force Persuade again. No, no, only the... No, only... No, only... Is there even no, a chance of it succeeding? No, 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 I don't think there is. Fine. Uh, if you don't come out, I'll just leave you in there. Bye-bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Whatever. I wonder why I expect so high into that force persuasion when it doesn't work. I mean, the, the skill description said barely anyone will be able to resist. Except for some sort of crazy guy who's locked himself in a locker. I mean, he's totally resilient, right? It it sort of makes sense that they would uh, they would do that. Oh hey, they're actually fighting each other. Otherwise, the force persuade would work on many targets. I think that might make it a little overpowered and might sort of break the story in a sense. So if you're that good at persuading others, there's really no reason to do would need to happen. Oh, oh well, apparently my force, uh, my my night valor, yes. force valor, whatever, 
My immunity to poison must have run out, so I got poisoned. What? Now, let's see what these guys had with them. Uh, another scientist's memo. I just want to make sure it's... It might be the same one because it also came with one of those sonic emitters. Yeah, it's exactly the same one. I have just a stack of two now. And um, the sonic emitter itself is now part of the... the third set of consumables, I guess. But I don't believe it's actually consumable. I believe I can use those over and over again to shake off the sharks that we'll encounter eventually. Don't believe it works on the just the mad Selka. Okay, I've been to that dead soldier, so let's open this door. Do another quick shave. And oh, a pet petrol droid. Patrol droid, not petrol. Sorry. Don't even know why I pronounce it that way. It's not like it sounds funny or anything. Just better. You could try to disable these mines. Recovering won't work, in my experience, but... Disabling them attempt. might. Fine, then just trigger them. Okay, an average frag mine. That you might be able to recover. Well, not in the middle of battle, maybe, but... Yeah. Never mind, never mind. Sure. Sure. I don't think these guys are much much trouble. And I could go... Actually, what I should have done maybe is, um, for that battle against the droid, equip that lightsaber that gives me a bonus against droids. The problem is, I it's not like I did do small amounts of damage. I didn't see me do any damage. No problem. Didn't work. Fine, just bash that open then. How can you miss the door? Here. Acknowledgement. Affirmative. Unsuccessful attempt. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to need you to explain to me how you miss a door. Here. See? <laughs> Never mind, you're obviously a very troubled little individual. Okay, let's see what's in here. Another few insane cell cath. Decent experience, but they are actually very difficult. Okay, I can also remove the poison with this. So, still don't need to deal with antidotes, but of course it would be nice not to be poisoned in the first place. And these guys appear to have a bunch of grenades. But they don't seem to use them, which I guess they're insane, so maybe they still have the equipment they had from before, but they do no longer know how to use it. That would be my explanation. And just to check, how close am I to leveling up on the other guys? About a thousand experience, a little over, a thousand twenty-seven, uh, seventy-two. Ish. What? Ish. Yeah, around there. HK-47 is slightly damaged, but we'll probably be okay. You know what, I don't care about the Force Valor, actually. If I get uh, poisoned, I'll just remove that using my heal. That'll be fine. How can I help? Then I said. Just misclicked. Acknowledgement. Okay, try to recover this average gas mine, please. Hmm. 
You suck. What can I do? Uh, yes. Nothing, Randy. Okay, so that's the exit. That's a pressure door, which I have the environmental suit and I have the sonic emitter. Yeah. It doesn't get consumed. I have as many uses of that as I like. Now, how about this? Oh, you managed to hit the door. That's so good. Sometimes I really wonder why I bother. Okay, we have two footlockers and no enemies. Hyper battle stimulant, that sounds very good. And some money in med pack. Okay. I believe this section of the map should then be almost fully explored, except for over here. It's behind the door that I couldn't hit. But I can also go the long way around and that should work. And I haven't been in here yet. I know I quick save too much, but you never know. And you have no intention of actually triggering mines by yourself, right? Just more insane cell cap. Oh, he had a prototype iron blaster. That actually might be interesting to use for, um, for HK-47 if we're going up against droids again. Because iron weapon, ion weapons? Ion, right? Ion weapons have a damage bonus against droids. Just drinking something while we're running. As I said, um, talking for two, three hours straight can be a bit of a strain on your um, on your throat and such. The larynx, all the devices you use for talking. Deadly gas mine. Um, quite frankly, uh, I think I've been poisoned. Oh, do you think? Nah, you're just you're just seeing things. Okay, a plasma grenade. There's another one of these pressure doors, which are essentially the ways out. And this is not a real door, it just looks like one. Okay. I wonder, do I automatically equip the Enviro suit? If I just die now, that'll be fun. Okay, that's sealed from the other side. I'll have to check another one then. Maybe that's just a fast way back in. Here! Here! Can't hit it from here either. I thought maybe it's one of those doors that you're only supposed to be able to open from one side. I don't know if they exist in this game, but I thought maybe they did. Um, doesn't look like it. At any rate. Okay. Well, I believe we cleared this part pretty well. Um, I will try to check the other airlocks. There's one over here. That one works. Okay, you only have one Enviro suit available. I couldn't find any more, so that's the limit, I think. Um, leave party members and begin airlock sequence. I think I'll have to go through this alone, maybe. Now, I know that in here there's going to be... Oh, I don't think there's going to be combat as such, but... I have the sonic emitter, which... Uh, oh, and invisible walls. I love them. I think they're just glitchy collision, basically. Um, hey, there's a survivor here. Let's see if we can talk to him. Or maybe he just gets snatched up by a shark now as I approach him. That would be fun. Who's there? You're not Selkass, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I am Dick Starkrod. The Republic sent us down to investigate. I hit my mic there, I hope it wasn't too loud, by the way. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkaths killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkaths swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. 
And they... they looked... wrong... somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something! Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay! Um, so what are you doing in an underwater section? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hrackert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. Um, a fish-type alien that can likely breathe underwater. And you figured you'd be safer in the water. Where there's, in addition to the insane guys that can probably go here, also sharks. Smart move. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll check it out. You just wait here. You're probably going to be useless anyway. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Yeah, safe. Right. Movement in these things looks ridiculously funny, by the way. And I don't know if there's anything worth exploring here. I don't believe I need the shark deterrent thing yet. Okay, I could probably get back into the base there. Yeah, back to the record station. This door is welded. I suspect that means I cannot open it, right? Yeah. It's weird that it's still an interactive object, even though being welded shut, I don't think I'll ever be able to get to it, really. Okay, movement speed is a pain and I cannot night speed in these things, so... Guess I can only go for this footlocker here. Don't know if that's worth it, but... Meh. You'll have to deal with the slow movement, there's no way to avoid it. Average frag points, I guess I can sell them. It is a nice idea that did this underwater level, but considering how advanced the submarine is that we got, you would think that they have some sort of speed increasing devices on these um, these environmental suits. Just some sort of underwater propulsion system. Oh look, invisible collision again. Which you can fix by just walking back and forward a little bit. Um, I don't know why it does that seems to happen a lot down here, not so much in the rest of the game, but there are occasions where it does happen, it's just, I don't know, maybe a slight, slight glitch in how the, sort of, um, how the ground collision is programmed, so there's an edge on the ground that you can't walk over, but it's, it's not actually there, the game just thinks it is, maybe, but I'm no expert, so really I'm just making this up. Seriously. Slightly overdoing it here with these glitches. I believe that's the ocean floor, by the way, so that's where we want to head. That's where the survivor is, and I believe we might just about see him get snitched up by something big and fishy. Yep, 
those things. Um, I'll definitely quick save. I don't remember exactly how this works. I think you probably want to keep your hand on the sonic emitter. Or on the hotkey to use it. And that supposedly kills them. Okay. So that's how that works. Interesting. Um, yeah, it, it activates very quickly, quickly, so all I have to do is wait for them to get a little closer. And then... Okay, needs one more. Oh, that was close. Has a bit of a recharge, so... Should try to wait until they're fairly close to activate it. If they're too far away, it doesn't work. But it does kill them and I do get 40 experience, so that is nice. Maybe I can open the welder door from the other side, but no, it doesn't look like I can. It's an... hmm, We'll see, we'll see. And the sharks are easy enough. Hello. Goodbye. And only the ones that are sort of on this ground level here, I believe only those will actually do anything against me. Goodbye. The others uh, appear to just be sort of standing around doing nothing. Well, the, the ones here in the background, you can see, uh, you cannot see right now, but the ones that are swimming at higher levels, for example, I don't believe those do anything. I don't know if this will just take me back to where I came from, that's the problem. Yeah, I haven't been here yet. It's another environmental suit. Um, before I go in, Night Valor and Night Speed, sadly it'll mean that there's a bit of a blurry effect now for a bit. bit. As these insane self hack want a bit of a treatment. Hoping I can deal with them alone. It seems to work. But I can still be poisoned. Okay, so before doing anything silly here, take an advanced map. And then maybe kill someone. And then take another advanced map pack. And Here. kill that one, and there's only one left, that should be okay. Here. And outside of combat I can heal Here. myself using the force. Here. If I could actually hit them. Here. Come on, you know that's stupid. There we go, and I'm just fine now. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be here without a party, but uh, I think we'll find that out next time. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.